Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. It is Monday morning and this morning I'm actually heading out to film a come charity shopping with me video. I'm going to a new place, so new territory, new shops that I've never been to before. Um, so I'm going to do that in one entire video which I'll upload very soon, if not already it's up. So if it is I'll link it, if not stay tuned for that. I missed a parcel whilst being away the last couple of days so I'll go and pick that up. But I also had this one delivered which is a big big box. I think I know where it's from, I think it's SNS. Yeah, it is. I can just see it there. Social Network Solutions have sent me this. If you missed the last one, I did a full video for the hamper that they sent me previously, so I'll link it here. But this time round, what I think I'm going to do is, it's like a full autumn inspired hamper full of goodies. So I'm going to open that later. So if you haven't already, pause the video, go grab a cuppa and get comfy. And I'll see you when I get back home later. My little thrifting excursion to Skipton. Very successful, a lot of homeware bits. I have one massive box which I showed you earlier and then I've actually got two parcels that were at the post office. This one which I don't know what that is and this one which I do know because it is a collaboration I have done with a Visual Mood and basically they are a international brand. I think they're based in America, yeah. Oh no, Canada then, Toronto. Their address is Niagara Falls Boulevard. So yeah, they have very kindly got in touch and offered to send me an item from their website, but they also want to gift you guys one. So what I'm gonna do for this week's post notification giveaway winner is simply subscribe and hit that notification bell if you've already done it, brilliant. Let me know in the comments down below once that's done, along with some means of contacting you, whether it be Instagram handle, Twitter handle, or an email. And I will reach out to the winner in a week's time to be able to let the winner know that you have basically won something from the website. I will pass your details on to the best people over at Visual Mood and they will get in touch and you'll be able to select something for yourself from the website. So I'm going to show you what I picked out. Very cute packaging. Check. Very on trend. Oh look at that sticker. I love that. It's like a little embossed thank you sticker in gold. So the first one being this swimsuit. And what I loved about this and a lot of others that they have on their website is that they are reversible. So firstly, this side is a very me with the whole botanical leaf print, which I'm loving. But also on the other side, we have polka dots in like white and black. So really love the fact that they are reversible. They're nice and thick, so the quality feels fantastic. The straps are adjustable as well, which is brilliant for, for me personally, when I'm abroad or like walking around or whatever, I like to have my shoulders bare so that I don't get any strap marks, tan lines or anything like that. The um, adjustable straps also come in black, which is handy. Then they also gifted me a headscarf, which again, they've got a selection of headscarves available on their website. This one is in polka dot, like black and white, which I thought could look cute with this side. I mean, how cute is that? Oh, I just need to book a holiday now, don't I? But yeah, thank you so much to Visual Mood for collaborating with me on this section of the video. And of course, being able to offer you guys something from their website as well. Moving on to the second parcel that I got. Something in a little purple envelope, which I have no idea what it is. Let's oh, that scared me. Oh yeah, okay. This is from Gold Luna, which uh, I've not gotten the necklace at the minute, but I have been obsessed with the necklace that they previously gifted me. So uh, they actually reached out and said, we're sending you some new bits. So I've no idea what they've sent. I've not chosen them out myself, but here are the two boxes. Oh, cute. Okay, so this necklace is like a little tea bar link in gold, which as you guys know is my preferred option. I love that like unique clasp there. I just love layering gold jewelry at the minute. So this will be a great layering piece. And then the other piece that they gifted me is 
in a little bag. Oh, it's so exciting. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's a ring. Okay, so I've not had a ring from Gold Luna before. And I love this. Absolutely love it. It is gold again, like I said, my preferred style. And the little gemstone is white which again is so me, it's like a proper icy. Oh, I need to file that nail, just ignore that. <laughs> um, really icy white stone. I absolutely love this. Now onto the big box. This is, like I said earlier, this is from SNS, Social Network Solutions. And safe to say I'm excited to see what's inside. And I'm really excited because they emailed this morning as well asking if I wanted to take part in the Christmas hamper coming soon. I can't believe we're just, it's nearly that time already. Okay. Oh. Woo. Okay, let's see what's inside. Woo. It's like Christmas. Okay, the first thing that jumps out to me are these. I've no idea what they are. Mr. Lee's Noodles. Hong Kong Street Beef Coconut Chicken Lack. No nasties, gluten free, and they're only 218 calories. They are low in sugar as well. Slim sauce, tomato and basil flavor, only two calories per survey. Slim noodles, Thai style, slim rice, slim noodles. Oh my God, there's so much food. Vegetable panang curry, vegetarian pad thai. Calorie watchers, cook yourself slim. So these are, this is a little recipe book. Turmeric paste, great for curries, stir fries, smoothies, bacon, golden milk, and herbal tea. Okay, Mother Dirt. I've not heard of this brand before either. So this is a um, cleanser for face and body. What I will do is leave links to all of these items down below if you wanted to read up any more information about any of them. So this is what the cleanser is. And then there's also a shampoo and also a moisturizer again for face and body. There is a tan and extra dark mousse by Be Bold and they have also included a discount code which is haul 20. Again, information to discount codes will be linked below for you guys. And then there is also from Willow, a vitamin facial oil with gortoline expression and rose hip. Okay, so moving on to the next product, which is Filarina Lip Volume. Ooh, interesting. Dermo Cosmetic Filler Treatment Gel with six hyaluronic acids. Okay, so if you didn't already know, I have had my lips filled twice in the past, over the past four years maybe. So I don't get it done very often. But I do actually have a video of like a before and after if, and like the whole lip filler process. If you wanted to watch it, I'll link it. I'm a strong critic. If I don't rave about it, then it wasn't that great. And if I do rave about it, I'm not lying. Okay, moving on, we have this product from lavish.com. This is the Lavish Smile Teeth Whitening Polish with activated charcoal, peppermint, and coconut oil. And then there are also uh, some vitamins here that they've included for the skin, vitamins, mineral, and botanicals. There's 60 capsules in there. It's a food supplement. That's what they look like. They're just like little tablets. I'll move on to this, which is Novell Beauty Clever Skincare and Cosmetics. So this is a press release. Oh my god, it's like a full-on press book, this one. Okay, let's just open the product and see what's inside. Oh, this is cute. It's like a little book. Oh, I love this packaging. This is so up my street. Look at that. It'll go with my monochrome book collection. So inside there is a body butter, which is called Irony. And then they've also included a day light cream. Okay, so the case is like this really dark botanical leaf print on it, which I love. And my iPhone is 7 Plus, but it's also black, so I think it'll work really well with this case. One of my favourite stationery brands, Odia, have included some goodies as well. Firstly, this really cute wooden ruler. Ruler, that's a posh ruler. And then they've also included a discount code, which is Freya20 to redeem 20% off on their website. So this is a daily planner, and this is one that I've had previously, but in like a marble print, and it's in collaboration with Urban Outfitters, this one. So I really recommend it. It's really good quality. It has a breakdown on every page of day, month, today's objectives, a timetable, notes, to-do list, next, objectives, and projects. And then they've also included this, which is a cute little 
sketchbook. So if you're a stationery lover like me, then be sure to check out Odia. Okay, and then lastly, is this lastly? Yeah, lastly, sad, it's coming to an end. Okay, is this pink bag, and there's a few bits inside from a brand called Bubble Tea. There's a press release if you wanted to have a look. There are tea infused range of bath and body products. Lemongrass and green tea bath infusion tea bags. It even says, don't drink me. And then this is a hibiscus and acai berry tea restoring shower gel. And then this is Moroccan mint tea bath fizzer. Cute, it's a little bath bomb. Cute, thank you so much to uh, bubble tea but also of course to social network solutions for gifting me with all these goodies and now I feel like I need to put my hair up and tidy up I'm not even going to show you all this mess good morning it is Wednesday today oh it's bin day I need to do that because Tom left early this morning so I doubt it will be done already I'm just having an at home day today honestly and I did yesterday as well but yesterday was like like loads of work I got done so I really did just do an at home day so today I think um I'm waiting in for a misguided parcel which I'll show you later I just got a couple of bits that we're running an offer 20% off coats and jackets and we are going into um speaking of which I'm gonna go grab one now and me and Lydia are going into Manchester tomorrow for a breakfast with Harvey Nichols. It's actually hosted by Mark Jacobs Beauty. Right, jacket. I'm literally just going to run to Boo's for now. So, to just grab myself a coffee and some breakfast. I kind of did, done a little change round, I'll show you. I just moved the ironing board and stuff into here because really this spare room is just used as like a bit of a wardrobe. Very messy, unorganised shoes laundry upcoming hauls <laughs> primark and then now this is like my box full of depop things that i'm selling as well but i got this unit which was from a charity shop and i've just put these candles and reed diffusers by plum and ashby and us apothecary so i had those burning last night and it smelt delightful my decennio prints i'm just going through these bits which all of these have been gifted and those so basically this unit is going to be my unit of giveaway items so they're all like categorized into different kind of like hair care jewelry skincare makeup as i always explain i'm very grateful and very lucky that brands are so generous with gifting me things but I'm never going to get through them all myself, hence why I'm doing this post notification giveaway every week. Uh, so, um, yeah, that's what that unit's for, just to keep it all nice and neat and organised. I have this, which, let's open this now, actually, because although it's relevant to me right now, basically, this company is called Murdoch London, and they got in touch, ironically, at the time that my dad and brother were having their birthday on last Saturday. So, although it arrived a little bit late, these are going to be gifted to my dad and brother. So, they are shaving products. Oh, God. These packing peanut things just get everywhere. So, I thought I would just quickly show you. <laughs> They're getting everywhere. Quickly show you what they got me. Okay, so they gave me two uh, products from their collection. These are both gift sets. The reason why I say ironically as well is because it was my brother's 21st. For his 21st this year, well... Face 21st. He wanted like a cutthroat razor, you know, to like sharpen all the edges and everything. So I bought him one and um, then these guys got in touch. But because I already bought him one, um, it doesn't really matter that I've not got one gifted from them. But they also were out of stock when I last checked. But if they are in stock and you know someone that's after one, then be sure to check out Murdoch London. It's like, I love the branding. Everything about the website and everything was amazing. I would have bought a cutthroat razor for George from them. It was just because they, they weren't in stock when I bought them. Inside is a matte mud sea salt spray vintage pomade. This is the How to Shave Master Edition. And there is actually a razor inside this one. So this one's a bit more expensive. I think this one's about £110. The other one's about £45. 
In this one is pre-shave oil shaving cream, the Ernest double edge razor and a post shave balm. So I'll leave a link to their website below if you want to check it out yourself. Like I said, great gift idea and they have loads of other products as well. All very smart, cheap packaging. So now I'm going to go grab some breakfast and crack on with some work this morning and I'll probably catch you in a bit. the gym I was gonna go for a run outside because it's so sunny but it's still freezing so I'll check the temperature again in a second but I've just had my misguided order arrived let's get into this this is the big one <laughs> so I have a black shearling jacket which I got from misguided last year and I lived in it throughout winter so I thought I would invest into a like neutral colored one, just as an alternative option. It is a slightly different style to my black one because it has the faux fur on the body as well. So I've got this in a size eight and it says it's in the color sand. So I wouldn't obviously wear it with what I have on now, which is gym gear, but this is what it looks like. I like it. I really like it and it's so cozy and warm. Yeah, it's just nice to have the alternative to a black one, I think. I'll leave a link to it below. Just had the battery on charge just for a second, and whilst I was doing that, I was doing loads of like, I basically hoovered all of downstairs, and I am boiling. So scrap the fact that I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm actually gonna go for a run outside, I think. It is like completely blue skies, and I was just sat doing nothing, well, not doing nothing, but working. So that's probably why I was getting a little bit cold. Okay, so another jacket that I got. I saw on Instagram, Sophia has it on, Sophia and Chinsia. She basically styled it with just pretty much jeans, trainers, and a cropped tee. So I think that's kind of what I had in mind when um, picking it out. It's this like utility jacket. Oversized utility jacket. I got it in an eight because it is already oversized anyway. And yeah, I'm just gonna wear it open. As you can tell, it's long enough to wear with like, even in winter, like for walks, like with just like leggings and boots and stuff. Okay, two more items. And these are just, I saw them and thought, let me just try them, but they're probably gonna go back because I don't know if I'm brave enough. But they are the vinyl trousers in a size 10. These are the sort of item that your boy will be like, what are those? That's what I feel like with these. They are pretty out there. So if I end up keeping these, I'll show you what they look like on over on my Instagram. I need to try them on first to see if they fit. And lastly, I've got this. It's like an oversized jumper dress, but then like that teddy kind of, oh my God, it's so soft. In a size eight, an eight will be fine in length as a jumper dress. Actually, just before I do go out for a run, I wanted to just give my brush clean cleanser thing a go, because I'm yet to try it. And it's been sat on my desk, waiting for me to get a chance to use it. And my foundation brush this morning, I noticed needed a clean. So I'm just gonna do it with the foundation brush for now. And then when I get back from my run, I'll probably finish off the rest. Essentially, this is the Style Pro brush cleaner. And then you have um, these rubber attachments in all different sizes. So this is the 14 millimeter one, which I feel fits this brush in particular. And then you have the brush cleanser, which you just put in to here. And then you essentially attach this onto the end of the electronic device. And then you dunk it in with the brush cleanser in there. And woohoo! The only thing is, is I feel like I'm gonna run out of this pretty quick. So hopefully they have, I'm sure you can buy it separately. Here it goes. So, oh my God, all the foundation's coming out into that already. Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's see what that looks like for now. Oh my God, that is pretty cool. What I'm gonna do is rinse this out and just do one more cleanse. Dip it in. Yeah, 
here, look, you can see how it's still dirty, but how much, like so much product comes out. This is gonna be so much easier to clean brushes. Oh my God, it's so good, because it comes out dry as well. That is a perfectly clean makeup brush. Time for run. Run, done. Oh my God, we just first get in for a run. Oh. Run done, that's what I like to call a detox run. Social media detox run, because I have no technology on me, no camera, no phone, no ear pubs, no music, nothing. Just me, my house key, and that's it. It just clears my mind so much, and it feels so good. I think I did just over 5k, something like that, because it was like a kilometre to our local reservoir, a kilometre round, a kilometre back, and I did three laps. So I'm guessing it's approximately about 5k. I, don't, I didn't time it, so I don't know how long, but I didn't stop, I just kept running. Shower time. <laughs> Hair washed, and I've obviously not got any makeup on right now, so... Um, and then my little bun on the top of my head is just drying to hopefully dry with a little bit of a curl. I actually already need to get this trimmed again. Look how long it's got my like bangs at the front. Okay, so I just had the post lady arrive with two parcels. So just before I sit down and have my lunch, which I bought some tomato soup and some, it's like sun-dried tomato um, and olive bread that booths do, which is delicious. So inside here we have a parcel from, oh it looks like it's, yeah, one of my favourite jewellery brands, Aurelia. So Aurelia is, um, I wear quite a lot of Aurelia, so I didn't even know this was coming. They've obviously just been very generous and just offered to send me some, so I have no idea what's inside. Oh cute, a little leopard print hoops, necklace at £28. Well, you can see there, it's like a long double layered necklace. I love the shorter one has like little beads on it. And then the end is like a little crescent. It's not quite a full circle. This is another necklace at £22. This one retails for, it is gold plated with semi precious stones. And then this is a set of rings made with cubic zirconia. Oh cute, they're kind of like matching in that they're layering, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, they're layering rings, but there's a little green gemstone which matches this necklace. Okay, moving on to this one, which is uh, Brand Nation has sent this. So I think this is the, um, I think this is some Samaritz products because obviously last week you'll, or a couple of weeks ago, I went to London, so you may have seen in my weekly vlog. Um, okay, the first item is not Samaritz, but they did say that they were going to send me one of these as well. They are the, I don't know how you pronounce it, BKR, BKR bottles. Uh, she said all the girls are obsessed with these in their office. Samaritz products, a mitt, and then this, I really wanted to try this, so glad they included this. It's the Radiant Glow Tan Boosting, Boosting Facial Serum. Now I have actually just put on some tan, so um, shame that I did that before opening this parcel, but I will give this one a go because I've really wanted to try like a specific for your face tan. An exfoliating skin primer, the dry oil, blah, 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 dry oil self tanning mist, which is non-greasy, developing tan, fast drying, requires no wash off. And then we have two mousse, oh no, <gasps> this is exciting, tan remover. So the hype around the tan remover products at the minute is um, very exciting. So this is the first time I've tried a specific tan remover. And this is the 5-in-1 tanning mousse, which is like a holy grail. Then this one is more of like an everyday gradual tan and it's an SPF 30 protector cream. But last but not least is this ultra finish with applicator, tan sealer, ultra matte finish. So this is more of like makeup for your legs or wherever, but I usually tend to just use this like on my legs. And now, Another job to tidy up this, alongside getting some work done. This is the bread that I got from Boots. How yummy does that look? So I'm gonna have some of that with, look how empty our fridge is, with this. Fine ripened tomato fresh soup, yum. Good morning, uh, it is Thursday, I'm into, into, going into Manchester. 
Oh, I've just seen a bird poo right on my window. That's just brilliant. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head in now. It's now about 10 past eight. We've got a breakfast with Harvey Nichols at 10 it starts. So I'm allowing plenty of time because rush hour traffic, you just never know going into Manchester. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be too bad, but if it is, I'm allowing time. I've grabbed myself one of these just for the road, even though we're having breakfast from 10 till 12 kind of figured it'll be more of like an early lunch so I'm just gonna have something just to start my day this featured in my Poundland haul so I've never had them before they are Alpen Light Bonoffi let's give it a try see what it's like mmm it's very strong banana mmm it's good but acting like we will well know the words just arrived that was a good stretch I'm still stretching. Oh, trying to save Lydia a space. It was probably about, I don't know, 30 spaces. And when I pulled up, there were about 10 spaces left. And now there's eight spaces left and she's still 10, 15 minutes away. So I'm like hoping no one else shows up. There's a space here right next to me. So if needs must, I will stand in that spot <laughs> and tell people they can't park there because my friend's parking there. Although you shouldn't really do that, should you? That's naughty, but. I'm gonna do it. I thought I'd just quickly show you what I've got on today. This is the feeler jumper I got from uh, True Vintage at Urban Outfitters. And then also I got sent this yesterday from Gold Luna. So thank you so much, girls. I meant to put another necklace on to layer it with, but I forgot. So I'm just sticking with that one for today. And then I've got my Primark straight jeans on, my Adidas NMDs. <laughs> Thing, that's what they're called i got these ones off asos so if they're still available i'll link them below i got them in the sale and they are still in the sale it's just i guess until they sell out so yeah i'll see you when i get to harvey next where is she there she is <laughs> there's still quite a lot of like summery stuff in here isn't there so we are here at harvey nicks bright and early it's like 10 a.m so the doors have only just opened so it's very quiet. We got directed by about five different people. Are you here for the event? Yeah. Yes. And I still stuff. don't know where we're going. No. I'm excited. Hi, yeah. yeah. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you too. Hi. Hi. so much better than mine. Yeah. I'm gonna have to look at your exact settings. Quite clearly found it. Light. Um, so yeah. Now we're going on to Coca-Cola, which I'm not gonna vlog, I'm gonna Instagram it. So if you follow me on Instagram, Freya Farrington 1, I'll link Lydia's as well. Yes, please. And uh, we're working with them, so we're gonna cake. Cake. We're going to create some content for them. I wish. Just wait for the uh, high-vis jacket to go. <laughs> this is behind the scenes of a blogger shoot. And I'm just shooting. I've got this little necklace on from Gold Luna. I've also got the comfiest like teddy jumper from misguided i'll link it below along with the pretty little thing boots which i love i'm currently wearing two bags zag posen and coach <laughs> and uh, and then i'm gonna head back i think lydia's gonna head in to pick up our vashi rings which are now ready for collection mm -hmm. just pulled up home and i actually got a parcel that i missed I know who it's from, it's from Iconic London, so I'm really excited to get inside, but I'm gonna have a look at that in a bit. I'm just gonna head out and go to Tom's new restaurant and do some work from there this afternoon, and then head back, and then I'll open that box with you when I get back. Oh, and then I need to head to the post office to drop something off for Carrie Moore, who bought something from my Depop, which I'll leave linked below if anyone's interested. I list all the items over on there that I've like worn and I'm not wearing again, so 
all over on my depop if you want to buy anything that's where to go and there's some real bargains on there i'm just throwing that out there so just sat at carnivora having some dinner tom's just got some food for us to share um i don't know where he's gone actually he's coming back up in a second i just got a tweet of a girl called abby abby hartley that says as if i saw a fair friend today but i was too shy to say hello well i'm saying hello to you now and Tom's here, so let's eat. Hello. I've just left the restaurant, but Tom had a couple of bits he wanted to take back to TK Maxx. And it's now seven o'clock and it's pitch black outside. Absolutely peeing it down. But I said I would just nip via TK Maxx just to return his clothes as the good girlfriend I am. But I thought I might as well just have a quick browse what's in there. I just wanted to quickly show you what we got gifted at the Marc Jacobs Beauty Breakfast. They matched us for their foundation, so they are going to be sending that out in the post. So this is uh, an eye primer, but it kind of has a bit of a coffee smell, which I actually really like. I don't know if that's intentional or not, or if it's my senses telling me the wrong scent but I do really like it and then this is the mascara I've checked the wand and it looks very much to my liking kind of like the Lancome Hypnose one which I love so I already know I'm going to really like that and this is the Amiga shadow in the Big O I think it's called so it's like a gel cushion formula I've swatched it there on the back of my hand it's going to be like the perfect bronzy nude for like everyday wear so yeah I just wanted to say a big thanks to Marc Jacobs Beauty and Harvey Nix for having us for a lovely breakfast. Good morning beautiful people. Today is Friday. Oh that's my fan. Wake up this morning a little bit late because Tom's alarm went off at 6 30. It's now half nine. We ended up going back to sleep and he was like I'll just set off later today. So we had a little bit of a snooze and a snuggle this morning. I wanted to show you what I got from Iconic London yesterday in the post because I forgot to do it when I got back last night. I love Iconic London. I always like talk about their illuminating drops. So they are the drops that I always talk about. I've got my mum onto these as well. She loves them. And then they've also sent in Icon for a pigment stick. I think this is for contouring. Yeah. It's a really nice colour actually. I might be going out tonight to Tom's Bar Illuminati and then on to his other place, Carnivora, for a drink. So it's his cousin's daughter's birthday. So I think we might be going out for some dinner tonight. So they've sent me some of their makeup brushes. I'll leave a link to these things below. Um, if Oh, look at the colour of that. That is like a true beige. They would fit perfectly in my brush storage containers just there which both of those are from TK Maxx. And I'm currently like trying to get my house out of like greys and silvers and more towards like creams and beiges because I feel like you kind of should have like one or the other. I don't know. And I'm just moving more towards like the earthy kind of wooden like this chair for instance. And then all my bedding is now cream. These boxes used to be grey. I've changed them out to be beige. So those brush containers, who knows, may get changed up one day. I'm going to head to a booze, grab myself some breakfast and a coffee. Oh God, I'm still stiff after my run that I went on the other day. Plan for today, pretty chilled one. I've just got my feeler jumper on again from Urban. And this time I'm wearing them with wearing it with my Joni jeans which my brother and his girlfriend bought me for my birthday last year and they're so comfy. It's so dark this morning. I know it's not on my camera, but it is dark. Following on from yesterday, when I said about that girl who tweeted me saying she saw me, I also had someone else message me on Instagram saying they saw me yesterday too. So please guys, if you do see me, come say hi. I'd love to meet you. Like it's so, me and Lydia were literally just having a conversation yesterday when we were together how nice it would be to like physically put all of you guys watching right now into a room and actually 
meeting you so essentially a meet up but we're nowhere near well i don't think anywhere near big enough to do a meet up or anything just yet could be time what is going on with my hair i've got like a little scrunchie <laughs> right okay now it's coffee time morning guys we had a lazy morning we watched a film on netflix this morning had a bit of a lie-in and a chill tom didn't get home till really late last night because of work so it's past midday i haven't eaten yet so i'm gonna head into burnley with tom and i'm gonna get some work done from his restaurant the majority of the day will be coffee cake maybe lunch and just set up working for the afternoon but before we set off tom's just in the shower i got a parcel arrived i actually got one two three parcels the first one is from loxitan i can tell because their address is always on the front of their packages I've got two advent calendars now but i know there's more to come it's gonna be a long december i had the loxitan one last year the year before that i bought well actually tom bought me the charlotte tilbury and then the year before that, he bought me the Selfridges one. They do a few Selfridges usually. Uh, but yeah, this is the L'Occitane one. So I will put that aside for Christmas. Another parcel I got. Oh, I think I know what this is. I'm vlogging. Yeah, these are some products following the breakfast we had it with Stila. So for me, she sent me the Skin Tone Illuminating Primer. They have a few different ones. I wanted to try like the multicolored one, but um, then when I realized they do an illuminating one, I think this would be better suited for me. That's what it comes out like. It's quite light on the skin. And you can tell there's a bit of a glisten to it if you can see there i also got heaven's hue highlighter in kitten this is gorgeous so there were two different tones i think there was more of a goldy one which i think i may prefer but this one is more like um like a blush into highlight because i tend to use the illuminating drops by iconic london this one will be good for um kind of like going over the top of it slash into a blush and then i've also got the shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadow in carefree i'll just swatch a little bit for you that is what that looks like so yeah i really like this one for more of like an everyday use and then we have the stay all day waterproof brow color which i'm really excited to try in light um, i wasn't sure if i was going to be light or medium in this one so we've gone for light I may have to get another and like maybe use both but it's kind of like a liquid highlighter almost if you can see in like a pen form really really fine tip last but not least they sent the matte and metal eyeshadow palette which i'm always a big fan of getting eyeshadow palettes and this one is very like wearable colors i find some palettes you get a lot of colors that i probably wouldn't go to but this is fairly neutral you've got the shimmers along here mattes along here and they're kind of banded into fours so you've got cool tones warm tones and then like purpley hues which is good for blue eyes and then last but not least i got a parcel from pixie by petra so let's just open this up and these are new to the range 100 mils each they retail for 10 pounds and there is the retinol tonic the glow tonic and the rose tonic this is what they look like i've always kind of brought up to cleanse and tone my face like every day to remove makeup so i go through cleansers and toners pretty quickly i'm just gonna wait on thomas to get ready so we can go to burnley so back again this is gonna be my office for the afternoon i'm gonna go get some food
white. And we are sharing this because that is monstrous. Monstrous. Monstrosity. Monstrous. Go on, just a little. <laughs> Pit stopping guys, it's about half six and I'm just by Asda, so I'm just on route home. I'm gonna go chill out for the evening, watch X Factor. I also need to catch up on last night's Big Brother. So tonight's a TV binging watching session for me, and so I figured I'm gonna nip into Asda and grab some snacks. They have all their Christmas mugs already. I really want one. That one's cute. Should have a nice big hot chocolate in one of them. Christmas is coming. Has anyone seen this? Terminal, I love Margot Robbie, so I feel like I should. But let me know if you would recommend. These look incredible. Maltesers truffles. These are the best things about Halloween. Fiendish fancies. Everyone talking about these hippies, so I'm gonna try salt and vinegar. Hi there, my name's Jack. What can I get for you today? Hi, right, can I just have a large vanilla milkshake, please? Yeah, would you like anything else today? That's it, thank you. Can I contact us? Yeah. Making sure I was spacing my cup holder ready for my vanilla milkshake. And then I'm gonna head home, call it a night. I think I'm gonna end this week's weekly vlog here. I've got my snacks. I'm gonna try these hippies, which I'm excited for. Uh, went with salt and vinegar. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to enter the notification giveaway for this swimwear this week. Best of luck to everybody, and I will see you again next week. Bye guys. But Cameron, just like, we shouldn't get involved. And they keep like, mm -hmm.